Welcome back to Full Circle with Mukali. A very good morning to you. Where are you watching us from this morning? Triple one, triple four, triple one. That is our SMS line. Switch TV KE on Instagram, Switch TV Kenya on Facebook. Be part of the conversation. And just before we get into this conversation, I have a question for all of you who are watching, and you can just send your answer in through our SMS line. Now it's working, okay? Okay, we've gotten that sorted out. So the question is, what would be your biggest, biggest time waster? You spend a lot of time doing this thing, but it gives you nothing in return. What is it? May have my own. Probably I will just be here, Fungua, Rojo session <laughs> in a bit, but it's time for Advice Circle. Talking about time wasters this morning is Ayanda Fakati, who's a life coach. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. And how do you love our country? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love everything here. Yeah, um, not so warm. We're, we're, we're experiencing <laughs> very cold weather right now. This is better for me because the UK is cold. <laughs> <laughs> cold. So this is fine. Yeah. Um, this is my third time here, actually. Okay. Ah, so. Perfect. So this is home. Yeah, yeah. Ish. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do? What do okay, you do so, so that you can introduce yourself to the people yeah, as well? So and why you're in the country? Uh -huh. I'm, so I'm Ayanda Fakati, life coach. Um, I work for an organization called um, Alexander Kanye Group. And we help people who've gone through traumatic experiences to overcome. Uh, we help them find who they are in God and then mentor them back to life uh, because we've kind of discovered that, you know, through their trauma, uh, they've kind of lost the future. And we help them to just navigate through that trauma and get back to who they're supposed to be. And so we're here in Kenya setting up some centers um, to house people who need to heal in those areas oh. yeah so from ground up yes <laughs> and how's the reception been so far uh it's been great mm -hmm. i mean people have been contacting us and uh, we had already ha we already had some people in kenya uh who were we were mentoring like online for a while but now we want to set that up as like officially um but it's been it's been great it's been great um we Look. need all the support we need <laughs> Well, we can get but <laughs> that's <laughs> but it's true good. <laughs> yeah um today we're talking about time wasters yeah. and believe it or not i think everybody has that just one little thing yeah and it's good if it's just one little thing yeah <laughs> for others it's a lot and it's probably an everyday practice of i'm wasting time today i'm wasting time tomorrow i'm wasting time today. yeah and you're here to talk to us about that and probably create awareness to everybody who's watching today to just realize that this is me wasting time and <laughs> yes. i didn't even know <laughs> yeah i think i i've done that i've been there uh, so i would talk about myself because yes. I've learned through my own stuff uh, so maybe we say like lack of priorities yeah because that gets to me all the time I would think I'll have I have 20 things in my mind but actually if I analyze properly it's only three things I need to do for that day <laughs> so it's really just about putting things in categories like what is more urgent if this is not urgent today I don't need to do it okay yeah so that that contemplating I always used to st just sit down and contemplate oh my god I have these things I have this and this thing I mean, to it do. looks a lot it looks like it's a, lot. a whole <laughs> lot of clutter yes. in your head yes so if you just take time to just arrange that what's important just what's urgent exactly yeah just categorize it that's yes. fine and in that way you'll know what to do first and what not to do particularly that day yeah it can wait until tomorrow, tomorrow. or exactly. the other day exactly that is lack of priorities yes. i don't know what priorities you have and is this a thing that i should be doing every day because most people will do priorities for like maybe this year this is what i want to do so is this something that you would say like every day every day you wake up in the morning just list down what you need to do i mean if you're so super organized i mean some people who are really good with their minds but for me i have not to be <laughs> I have to do it every day. <laughs> okay, I and it works. It works. Yeah, it works. Because then if you just really look at it and you think, oh, uh, actually, I only have two things to do or mm. three things to do. Mm. And then I'll have the rest of the day to myself. Um, so that's how you get through the day. Okay. <laughs> this next one is something that I've, I think I've struggled with for a long time. You have great ideas and you have this drive. You just want to do something or that happens and you don't do it at that point, but at that particular point, because you're like, I don't have funds. I don't have you so many excuses mm -hmm. and you just hold back. And sometimes you're just sitting back waiting for, I just want somebody to talk wisdom into my head. Uh, I'm waiting to see <laughs> what is the universe saying yeah. about this. And then it never happens. Yeah. So you're waiting for inspiration. Yes. Yeah. Um, that never works either so i've always found that just attempt to do the task and then inspiration comes as you go oh because if you now say i'm gonna wait until it comes 
it actually it will take a long time okay you no know, because how many things are you going to do to get yourself there <laughs> like mm. you have to work so hard to get to that inspiration so the the first thing is just just do it attempt to do it and then the inspiration will come as you do it not the other way around the because you're just around. there waiting and waiting inspiration speak to me the yeah. universe and then when that doesn't happen <laughs> then a day a week months yeah and they then you go get by, diverted. And, and then, then you get diverted. Something else comes up and exactly. it feels like it's more urgent or more important. Yeah. And somehow you get to see someone else do what you had in mind to do. Exactly. You're like, that would have been me. <laughs> exactly. That happens all the time. So your remedy for this is just get started. Just get started. As scared as you are. As scared as you are. One not, day at a time. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One hour at a time just see it through yeah once you start then everything else will sort of like fall into place yeah and you we can we can you, then you start uh -huh. or you have this many ideas yeah many ideas yeah but then you don't know which one they all look so good so you're very indecisive uh yeah that's uh, i've been there like that just kind of steals the whole vision like being indecisive will just drain all the vision, all the clarity out of you um so that's another thing i think uh, being indecisive is you just need to go back to where where was my clarity before i got to this place and maybe build up and dream again yeah yeah dream again draw draw the vision you know on your in your book again that's what i think about um otherwise if you stay in that indecisiveness mm -hmm. it makes you stagnant yeah and it doesn't mean that all these ideas that you have are not good yeah it's it's okay for them to be they, they are okay they you are thought okay. about them yeah and so we're not putting them down but you need to be able to make decisions yes as as, as a person who's in charge of your life yes you can't be there stuck between i don't know which boy like this one is really nice <laughs> and then they all go ahead and get married <laughs> yes <laughs> because you were too slow in in choosing which one of this, this yes i'll probably they move on yes they, you, then you look like you're not interested in them yes. anymore yes yeah oh my goodness i think going back to what is it that you really want mm -hmm. you go back to that inner place when you just yeah. think okay what is it that i really want and I, and I write that down and then i come back to that clarity then I'll be able to decide because if you stay in that place, then you're just going to be stuck and mm, stuck mm. And, and time will go by. Yeah. And yeah, this, these things have, have they do. <laughs> but we always worry about what the people will see. Probably you want to make like a grand turnaround in your life. Yeah. You just want to quit this job and do the other job. You just want to get a divorce. You want to, you know, probably, I don't know what it is that you want to do, Yeah. but it's, you're worried. you're worried so the fear of what is waiting for you on the other end yeah um that i i think that has really impacted my life mm -hmm. uh in terms of i've missed out on opportunities oh. i've missed out on favor because you're always worried and you have this fear mm -hmm. like i am going to fail or people are going to say this and that uh, but what's happening is that the voice of people has become louder than the voice of your vision and so you lose the vision mm. and you consider on the people. Mm. And you know what I think about this whole thing, this time wasting, uh, the per a person who is not, who, a person who is engaged in all this time wasting st stuff, it's because they really fear that they will not be productive. Mm. You know, they have that fear yeah. and it comes from past fear, you know, past failures. Yes. You know, you've had failures before yeah. and you've not achieved before. And so you, create this fear like i will not produce i will not produce and so you you just retreat <laughs> then you don't do anything you don't about do anything it. about then it you're wasting time exactly think, does this <laughs> couple up with you know um this fear of doing something that is so dramatic so out of the norm sometimes could also be coupled up with wanting to please everybody yes you know yes. you just i don't want to make people uncomfortable i just want to be the nice one yeah who just stayed here and did nothing as yeah. long as everybody else is okay with me but if you also do that you overwork yeah you overdo it mm. you, you overperform mm. which leaves you with no energy you know that energy you could have had you'd have preserved it for another thing but now if you now want to please everybody you you you're overdoing things mm. you're overworking mm -hmm. and really the balance is to never overwork and never underwork so it's a hard balance to find. <laughs> yes. It's a hard balance to find. But, but I think I'll go back to what you said earlier for anyone who's dealing with this. Just go back 
inside and find out what it is that you really you really, really want. want and when you find that thing yeah then don't take no for an answer yeah. go for it it doesn't matter how many people you step on yeah. in a good way <laughs> In yes. a good way, <laughs> but don't let the people hold you back because you just want to be in their good books. Exactly. It's okay to just be on the other side once yeah. in a while. <laughs> you talked about fear earlier mm -hmm. and you say that fear sometimes will hold us back from making decisions mm -hmm. that we need to be making now. Mm -hmm. And this could be probably because I've done this thing so many times exactly. and I've failed so many times. Yeah. So it's the same thing that is happening to me yeah. that is continuing to happen to me. So I just decide not, not to, to do, do it. it. Yeah. But how many times do people fail? How many times do, you know, all the big people who have made it out there, how many the times time. have they failed? they still fail. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So we just have to learn from others that failure will be there. But yeah. I have to have, as long as I keep that vision um, on sight, then I have to keep on going. Like, everything I have learned now, God taught me this. He, he taught me like, okay, if you want to succeed, this is how you're going to do it. Yeah. This is how you're going to manage your life. What would it's be, still a struggle. <laughs> it is. It is. What would be your what, your your take home for everybody out there who's struggling with this? And it could be um, other things like you just like to bomb. You just I just want to sit down in Netflix and chill. I just want to sit down and not do anything. I mean, everything in my life has been taken care of. Or probably you are clouded. Yeah. You don't have you don't have the vision. You don't see mm. any more past where you are. Yeah. What would be your take home for them as you come to the end of this conversation? Um, what I would say is that the potential is within you. Right, mm. you have mm. to go for it and unlock it. Yeah, and you are the only person who can do that. You have the power to do that. Um, unfortunately, no one else can do that. People can see potential in us. People can build us up and and help us along the way. But you are the only person who can really um, make that, you know, really grow and expand and expand yeah. in your life. So that's what I would say anyone who's struggling that um, yeah. I, I think I face that every single day because I just feel like okay I really have to help myself that's true because <laughs> really help did not come from outside uh -huh. I think it comes from within we live from within us yeah, so exactly. if you depend on what is happening around you yeah. then you will be led in whatever direction the world exactly. wants to take you exactly. so you won't be standing up for anything exactly. because I mean yeah, because God has already given you that power yeah. he's given you that potential so he's actually waiting for you to now like realize it mm -hmm. and go for it and yeah. then as you go for it he mm -hmm. helps you to expand that is so yeah. true so mm -hmm. powerful as mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. ayanda thank you so much for coming through how can people get in touch with you and do it for the foundation that you're working for yeah. and people need help at home how yes. can they get or reach uh, out for help uh, so you can come onto facebook and you will find us on uh we're called akg global missions uh, so we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on Instagram, and it's all the same, AKG Global Missions. Um, if you want to get in touch with us, there's a number there. You can give us a call, and we're, we're here to help. <laughs> Absolutely. A personal one as well? Are, are you on IG? Will that Instagram? Yes, I'm okay. on Instagram as mm -hmm. well, um, Ayanda's World. Uh, my personal Facebook is Ayanda Lovely Pakati. <laughs> so you can find me there <laughs> okay thank you so much for coming through thank you i don't know what your biggest time waster is <laughs> but i hope you learned something from this conversation this morning we're taking a very short commercial break we will be right back this is full circle with mukali